Hello and welcome to UA Tips for you. So we are working on our climbing system tutorial series, and in this tutorial we will set up this functionality to our character that our character can jump in any direction from hang position with proper location and rotation. As you guys can see, my character can grab any ledge or any hole within this specific range. So in this tutorial we will set up this functionality to our character and in the next tutorial we will implement the proper animation for hang to jump in specific directions. My character can properly grab any ledge position or any holes in the specific range from tracing that we have set up in our previous tutorials so let's get started guys hello and welcome back so far we have set up this functionality to our character that our character can move left and right and when reaches at the end position the character can properly start tracing for the hang to jump position for example as you guys can see my character can properly trace in specific direction according to my input now let's set up the hang to jump functionality for our character so I'm gonna open my event graph character blueprint event graph and I'm gonna go to my hang to jump right tracing function that we have set up previously and I'm gonna create a new variable called can hang to jump like so can hang to jump and grab my variable and if my first trace didn't hit anything then the variable will be false and similarly here is my second trace that we set up from top to bottom trace and if this trace also didn't hit anything that also we gonna set up this variable to false and if the initial overlap of trace is true then also we're gonna set this variable to false and from our false condition if our second trace that we set up from top to bottom for detecting the z location for our for our position if this trace successfully hits something I'm gonna add a sequence node over here and first we will break the loop and then our can hang to jump variable will be true so only this case our can hang to jump variable will be true and I'm gonna create a new category for my can hang to jump right. I'm gonna set the category name for hang to jump like so. I'm gonna create a new variable and call this can hang to jump location and set the variable type to vector category will be hang to jump and also a new variable for hang to jump rotation like so and the variable type will be rotator I'm gonna set these two variables over here hang to jump location and hang to jump rotation
so here are my two variables hang to jump location and rotation and for setting hang to jump location I'm gonna grab the impact point of my second trace that is a trace from top to bottom and subtract subtract 90 units from z axis like so and then I'm gonna grab my first trace grab the impact normal make a rotation from its x-axis like so here is the rotation and I'm gonna grab my forward vector of this rotation multiply the forward vector with 35 units and add the result to our impact point of second trace like so so this will be our hang to jump location setup and for hang to jump rotation I'm gonna make a rotator like so break the rotation of my this axis roll will be roll pitch and for the uh, I'm gonna subtract 180 and here is the rotation setup so here is location and rotation for our hang to jump right right hang to jump right side tracing is set up now let's check the result over here so I'm gonna grab my event tick over here and check the variable result of can hang to jump like so and here you guys can see if my trace hit something over here variable becomes true and we need to set this variable to become false when we release the keys so when we release all the directional keys we are gonna set this variable to become false in every case now let's check the result and you guys can see if trace hits something variable becomes true and if I release the key it becomes false now let's set up all this functionality for our hang to jump left tracing function and hang to jump up tracing function I'm gonna open my hang to jump left tracing function and similarly for hang to jump right tracing I'm gonna grab my can hang to jump variable set this to false if my first trace didn't hit something and if my second trace also didn't hit something this variable become false over here and if the initial overlap is true then also this trace then also this variable becomes false now I'm gonna open my hang to jump right and copy all of these nodes and paste into hang to jump left tracing function like so set this up over here impact point will be our impact point of our second trace that are uh, that is the trace of top to bottom and the impact normal will be our first trace impact normal and the remaining functionality will be the same now have hang to hang to jump left tracing function is set up I'm gonna open hang to jump up tracing function similarly set this up and can hang to jump become false when second trace didn't hit something and if second trace initial overlap can hang to jump become false paste this node over here and the impact point will be our second trace impact point impact normal will be our first trace impact normal so our these three functions are set up now let's check the result I'm gonna print the value
print can hang to jump variable value so here if my trace hit something variable becomes true in all the cases and if trace reader hit something or I release the key then variable become false so we have the condition for when our character can hang to jump and I'm gonna go to the function over here when we press spacebar if our character can hang is true it's mean our character is in hanging position then I'm gonna add a new branch over here and what this allows us to check either we drop the latch or jump to the next latch so the condition will be our can hang to jump if can hang to jump variable is false then we just release the release the ledge and if our can hang to jump variable is true we're gonna move component move our capsule component to the desired position and rotation so the location will be our hang to jump location that we set up and the rotation will be our hang to jump rotation time will be 0.5 now let's check the functionality so here you guys can see I can move properly to the next ledges So our one functionality is remaining when we press S key we are gonna trace downward side and grab the ledge that are below the uh, below the character I am gonna grab my S keyboard input and copy the all the functionality for my upward tracing functionality paste it over here and for the downward side tracing we're gonna set the hang to jump z offset to minus 100 instead of positive 100 and for our upper side tracing we're gonna set this to positive 100 so by doing this we're gonna also check our hang to jump downward side as you guys can see I can properly check at any direction if there is some valid spot for grabbing or not so in our next tutorial we will set up the proper proper animations for hang to jump into specific direction so I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and also you can support me on patreon and also you can gain access to all the project files or you can also communicate me over patreon so thank you guys.